By now, you've probably heard of all the amazing benefits video marketing can do for your business, such as increase online traffic, boost awareness, and outperform other mediums, such as images and text. But before you start coming up with ideas for your next video project, there's probably a few things you should know besides the common statistics. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Josh with Comfy Stone, and today I'll be sharing three crucial concepts you need to know before you start making video content. Of course, you could just skip these steps and go right for the record button. Nothing is stopping you from doing that. But if you want your video marketing content to truly be effective, we advise you to take the time on these prerequisites. Number one is to know your audience. The first rule of marketing is to focus on your audience. I read that on the internet, and it's true. This content is for them, not you, so nothing is more important than knowing who your audience is before making a video. The pain points you solve for them through your product or service are what you'll be injecting into your story so that they are more relatable and hit all the right buttons. And maybe a few heartstrings. Man, that really got me. Be sure to spend some time getting to know your audience by reviewing your current customer base. What do they engage with the most? What do they like and dislike? This should influence your messaging and style for your videos. For example, if your customers are young millennials who are environmentally conscious, then they'll probably enjoy a fast-paced, heartfelt message. Number two is setting a goal. A goal will refine the above messaging you've gathered from understanding your audience and start implementing that into one central messaging point or call to action. A goal is a great metric to measure if a video was successful or not. It didn't do what I wanted. Fail. Some common goals include increasing brand awareness, offering promotional sales, boosting engagement, or growing an email list. Think of the goal as your story guide. Without it, your video will be confusing and misunderstood. If your goal is to make environmentally conscious millennials aware of your business, then you'll need to focus on making them wanna learn more by the end of your video. Number three is to pick a video type. Video types will further categorize the pacing, placement, and metrics you'll wanna achieve for your video. Types of videos include social video, ad video, and brand video. In a previous video, I explained these three video types more in depth, so if you haven't seen it, check it out in the description below. Each of these video types have an appropriate place to live online. The last thing you'd want is for your video to be too long for the platform or the messaging not properly placed. A brand video may be found on a homepage of a website, a social video may be posted as an Instagram story or feed post, and an ad video may be bothering you when you're trying to watch a YouTube video. Ugh. Dang it! I'm an avid runner, and when I first started, I thought running would be simple. Put one foot in front of the other, right? Well, after learning about distances, stride, diet, stretching, shoe type, and all that jazz, I quickly learned there was an effective way to run and a hard way to run. The more effective my run became, the easier it got and the more fun I had while doing it. You can do the same with video. Just remember to use these key concepts as your guide. Oh, and have fun. And that's gonna do it for today's video. What are some things keeping you from starting a video today? We'd love to know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button while you're at it for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep making videos.